from Beijing. He looks pretty happy with that. Unfortunately, he gets a red flag, so he won't be happy when he turns around and sees that. So a foul for Lex Gillette in the fourth round here. So he only has two jumps to go to elevate himself from the bronze medal position and to make up the 30 centimetres by which he currently trails the leader, Ruslan Kadyshev of the Ukraine. gentlemen boys and girls to the track for round two of the men's 200 meters t11 three semi-finals or three heats to decide our finalists the full lineup on the board there for you using lanes one three five and seven so the full start list for the first of three semi-finals in this t11 men's 200 meter which is for Athletes with the highest level of visual impairments, all of whom will be blindfolded again and will run with a guide alongside them. In lane Four competitors. Five, representing Brazil, the lifetime best of 22.99, one of the fastest men in the field, Felipe Gomez. Shui of China in one. Shui Lei of China is in lane one, world ranked number two this year. Elshin Nurunov of Azerbaijan in lane three. Felipe Gomez just introduced to the crowd in lane five. He's the fastest in the field on paper, the only man below 23 seconds. And in lane seven, on the outside, is the American athlete David Brown. Final of this is tonight. This is the first of three semi finals. Only the winner of each heat and the one fastest loser. We'll take the four spots the first across the line in tonight's final in this men's 200 meter t11 classification triple olympic uh, paralympic and world champion lucas prado of brazil goes in the third of these semi-finals stadium falls into silence over in the top left corner of the track as i look at the 200 meter start on the far <laughs> side and away they go. They're All the athletes running line. with their guides. Shui Remember their aluminous the green bibs. A strong style on the outside from David Gomez Brown of the outside. USA. And in lane number States. five, it's Felipe it's Gomez the of Brazil. And it's those two who lead coming into the straight. Trying to get back Gomez. on terms is Muradov of Azerbaijan, who's coming through strongly on the inside. But it's Gomez of Brazil who leads from the Azerbaijani athlete Muradov. David Brown also finishing very strongly. Muradov just about hangs on for second. The winner is Felipe Gomez of Brazil. He's the automatic qualifier. Muradov of Azerbaijan second. David David Brown of the USA third and Shue Lei of China, well ranked number two on time this year, maybe surprisingly finishing in the last of the four places. A personal best for Gomez, 22.97 to automatically qualify Muradov well, of Azerbaijan with a regional record of 23.41, just ahead of David Brown, 23.47, and Shue Lei of China, 25.91 bringing up the rear in the long jump pit it's the athlete currently in second place Li Duan of China 631 he jumped in the third round a personal best he's 15 centimeters short of the leader Ruslan Kadyshev of the Ukraine up he comes now almost a forward roll as he lands in the pit there can't tell from his reaction whether he's happy or disappointed with that Hit the board at some good speed. Again, Ukraine. hard to tell whether that will be an improvement best jump so far. from Li Duan of China. There is the champion in the men's shot put. Remarkable performance from Shabatov. He retains his title and he won so well. As the applause you just heard in the background ago, was Beijing, Ashapatov the of Russia, who is the men's shot put champion, as we confirmed a few moments ago, finishes with a throw of 16 meters and 20 centimeters. Congratulations to Alexei Ashapatov of Russia, who is the Paralympic champion in the men's shot put F57.